welcome to Brennan Evely's Dark Animus Guide for Looking for Raid in Throne of Thunder. This is a guide for tanks, healers, and DPS. I'm Evely, a monk healer. And I'm Brenna, a monk tank. This is the ninth boss in Throne of Thunder and the last boss in the Halls of the Flesh Shaper LFR. It consists of the boss and three types of robots around the room that will activate throughout the fight. Begin the fight stacked up on the stairs at the entrance to the room. Kill the floating orb in the center to start the encounter. AoE down the small anima golems quickly, then spread out immediately when the large anima golems activate. Inactive golems activate when a golem dies near them. While spread out, kill the large anima golems. When the massive anima golems spawn, single target them down immediately and then go back to the still surviving large anima golems. Around now, the boss dark animus will become activated. Once all the golems are dead, just kill the dark animus to finish the fight. Tanks. When the group is AoEing the small anima golems, just do the same. When they die, each tank needs to pick up 3-4 to four of the large anima golems and tank them around the room. Don't stop moving because you'll get hit with Crimson Wake, a fiery circle on the ground that hurts very badly. Healers and DPS will need to look out for this too. When the massive anima golems activate, each tank needs to pick one up and continue to kite around the room, avoiding Crimson Wakes until all the large anima golems are killed. One tank will need to pick up the boss when it activates, even if you still have a massive golem on you. Whichever tank's massive anima golem dies first will need to take the boss away from the other tank. When the DPS finish off, both massive anima golems focus the boss down. Whichever tank isn't tanking anything when just the boss is alive has one more responsibility. You'll need to pop the orbs of the anima ring that is placed around the tank who is tanking the boss. The boss tank will then need to run out of the anima ring through the gap made by the other tank. Healers, you're going to be using most of your mana and all of your major cooldowns near when the large and massive anima golems have activated. This is the most difficult part of the encounter for your raid to get through, and it's important to keep the tanks alive. If necessary, assign specific tank healers to both tanks. Once the golems are dead and only the dark animus remains, you'll be healing periodic damage through interrupting jolt. When you see this about to hit, cease casting, instant cast only, or it will lock you out of casting for 10 seconds while damaging the raid. This isn't difficult to heal through, so don't plan on saving mana from the difficult trash phase. DPS, just to recap, you'll need to AoE the small ads, then spread out as quickly as possible and kill the large anima golems. Keep moving, avoid the crimson wakes on the ground. When massive anima golems activate, use bloodlust, heroism, or time warp and burn down the massive anima golems fast. Clean up any other golems and then kill the boss. Thank you for watching our Dark Animus Throne of Thunder guide. Please tell your friends if our video helped you out, and check out our channel for other guides.